Okay, we are live now. My audio has been tested. Thank you, Millie. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, and welcome to Critical Knowledge. This is a homebrew 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons campaign. My name is Crash. I will be your DM for the evening. Tonight I am joined by a bunch of awesome people, including Ellie, April, Matt, Millie, Eric, Cindy's hanging out, and what happened last time? I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. I still love that you were the first person to answer, though. That amuses <laughs> yes. me. So can, can anyone fill Millie in? Because Hero doesn't quite know what Hero did. Which I suppose we can. Tried, we were trying to chase down a banshee that had escaped from somewhere. A giant inverted fishbowl. <clears throat> uh, we instead ran into some lich. Oh, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had, we had a friend who decided that he would take on whatever guardians the lich had. And he bravely took care of said guardians while we moved on to uh, face the lich. Um, we like, were having some difficulty as the lich was flying, and we eventually found a way to uh, counter the lich or attack. Uh, we found a way to, to attack the lich by using a fly spell. And of course, through the pot shots we did eventually do on the lich, it was wounded enough that I was able to, uh, my, my character Xanthus was able to fly up to the lich and smite him mightily in twain. It was and the deal. Oh. And it I was, was charmed. Good. And I was charmed during the whole ordeal. Wait. But instead of attacking like I should have been, I decided to tie my shoes. Good. <laughs> it's um, the only time that Eric's character decided to heal first and do damage later was when was Jaren charmed. was charmed and had to work for the enemy. I have a question. 42. We fought the lich, lich, like the lich that was in my weapon. A lich. It was a, it was a, a lich that was similar to what was in your weapon. Okay, and in that's fact, what I wanted to make sure before yeah. before I tried to piece the rest together. There is currently well, only lich one smitten. lich in an artifact. Okay. And Xanthus is wearing was, it around his neck. Yeah. Oh. When said lich was smitten, the lich collapsed into a pile of dust oh, and debris. Smitten. That's so cute. Valentine's Day is soon. It is. Um, <laughs> And just so you know, I have found a picture of what Crash looked like when he decided to tie my shoe. Not exactly <laughs> accurate. <laughs> I think it's accurate enough. I mean, you are allowed to believe that. However, you also believe that I get upset when you derail oh, the plot. But here's the oh, thing, what the character chooses is the plot. I don't think you get upset. I think sometimes you look and go like, wow, I planned all of this for nothing. <laughs> no, he just saves it for I later. I don't, or, or do you? I don't think he was able to plan for the fact that I demanded an, uh, an acting troupe. There were plot reveals <laughs> I gave in the five o'clock game today that I've been saving since the first campaign. <laughs> I yeah, can be patient. But- are there they, were also are no green circles. Truth yet? <laughs> <laughs> no green circles. No I am green sorely tempted to have one of those in my next in my next session, just for laughs, <laughs> just to see what they do with the green circle. <laughs> those those actually were pretty good reveals, though. Like, did, did you guys know that there's a god called the Raven Queen? Ooh, <laughs> yes. I'd say <laughs> our characters may not. <laughs> oh, well, she's kind of a big deal. With that said. Uh, we are starting up right where we left off. Um, Xanthus, the fly spell is still in operation unless Nyx has ended concentration on it. Well, but, I would ask that she wait till at least I land first. Yes, I, I would <laughs> argue that she'd probably at least wait until you land. You have just sliced this lich in half, and she did the whole I'll be back thing, and then she realized you were wearing her phylactery around your neck. So no. So, well, one to ten business days. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be ready. Oh, Which, I, it's I don't still not to fun to have. Long. It's still not fun to have a lich respawn within one to ten days, because it's like right when you l- let your guard down. That's when, like, right when that banana turns from green to brown. To brown. There, there was a period of yellow. You blinked. And in that moment, that's when the lich shows up. It's like the 30-minute yep. window avocados are perfectly ripe. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
But I didn't know that about avocados. I've never had one. I've only had the toast part. You should have an avocado. <laughs> an avocado? <laughs> Is that like a fajita? I've heard about those fajita things. It's actually from a vine from way back when. It's my favorite. R.I.P. Like, vine. They have free shavacadoos because they had the kerning <laughs> wrong on the sign for fresh avocados. <laughs> you know, every now and then I will create an image and deliberately alter the kerning of letters and send it to my sister who has a graphics design degree. <laughs> because I am I am an older brother and must act as such. You are a good, good sibling. Yes. It's like I uh, like to text my brother incorrect like uh, food settings because he's a restaurant manager. It's the little fun things. <laughs> it's, it's the little things. And they send me stuff about teaching and I, I laugh and yell and it gets, gets pretty good. My mom just um, sends speaking... all of her worst papers she grades, but yes. So speaking of totally unrelated things, yeah. um, in this moment where Xanthus has just sliced this lich in half and everyone got to see the wonderful light show of the lich getting evaporated and absorbed, uh, Monty walks into the room going, Okay, I'm here to help, but... Oh, oh, you did it. Anyone dead? Uh, we did. Uh, which... Who, uh, who stabbed it to death? I, I stabbed Xanthus it. Xanthus got the killing blow. Xanthus? That's dad, right? I believe Xanthus is who you've been calling father. That's what I was trying to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Father The, the did short it. one is dad. The tall one is father. Yeah, exactly. Father did it. Father. Good for you. I watched. <laughs> That's all I did. So you got the banshee. We can head back now. Wait, that was the banshee? It wasn't a banshee? It was not. I a think banshee. it was like a banshee. Hmm. That's odd. It was like the again... thing that came out of my weapon. It was less ghosty and more dead. Bones and dust. Hmm. That's interesting. More corpsey is what I mean. Can I open up my book of... ABCs of liches and open to the lich it was? You most certainly can. I would like to do that. Okay. I forgot open... I have my ABC book of liches. <laughs> now, I did realize... It, did it actually say its name? I don't recall. Um, I can at least pull out the book and be like, as one of these. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were given a name by the Banshee. Oh, I was? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was... <laughs> or something like that. No. <laughs> Palelia. It was Palelia yeah. Void Bonded. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember so you, the void bonded part, actually. So you open the yeah. book up to the, the... I can't believe I'm saying this with the audience <laughs> I currently have. Up to the P section. <laughs> I want to say you're all 12, but I teach 12-year-olds, and they react better. Yeah. You open the book up to the correct section, and there is an illustration that looks remarkably like the being that Xanthus just... Smited. Like that? Smited. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love and hate that image you have found, Ellie. It was a cross stitch of the word curding, but with bad curding. Yeah, so it looks like it's saying chemming. But it happened to go up right as you said, like, here's an image. <laughs> oh, the timing. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Critical Knowledge, where we get sidetracked frequently. Don't worry, it's still all canon. We get sidetracked, yes, often. But, uh, don't you? It's yeah. it's not that we are sidetracked. We are taking the path less traveled. Also, I'm still in character. Robert Frost is the big bad. Okay. So, um, huh. And you lived. I yes. think so. Yes. Well, it didn't, it didn't seem to take well to a divine smite. I would imagine undead do not. Also, I notice that you're flying now. Uh, thanks to Nick's uh, magical spell. But um, I'm familiar. We have a, another item to note, and I will take the necklace off. Apparently, this is a phylactery. For the lich we just destroyed, because when it died, it entered the entered this, and it was I apparently hope, quite upset. I hope 
Well, I imagine that if I was a lich, which I'm not, you can check my pulse later if you wish, and the ones smiting... Him. What's that? I smell him. <laughs> he smells like okay. a cobalt. <laughs> um, I, I imagine that if I was the one being smited and killed, and I realized the one doing the smiting also had my phylactery, I would probably be somewhat upset about that. And what? that's where we are. Phylactery? What? You a lich? No, no, no. The, the, <laughs> my necklace is a phylactery for no, the lich. No, no, no. I was joking. Off that's of cool. the, like, like, well, if I had a phylactery and they had it, why do you have phylactery? I so don't have do any get... phylacteries. Yeah. You're the one. We need to get phylactery. rid of this. <laughs> yeah, you probably should. You probably should. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I will not be inviting you to spend another night in the Cobalt Warrens. We don't really need a lich in there. No, I agree. Um, can I be in there? I got where, rid of the lich thing. <laughs> where can we go to destroy this? Hmm, good question. Volcanoes are often a location where people drop things. I could suggest a one near. Or is there one nearby? Say within a day no, or two travel. Nowhere near here. <laughs> I feel page walking here. So a volcano is not very convenient, so we need another way. I have a suggestion. And who was that? Oh, that would be the shrouded figure that has appeared in the middle of the room. Can I smell him? Uh you may certainly try. I'd like to. And who might you be? What does he smell like? <laughs> nothing. Oh. Probably not there. <laughs> he's fake. Be careful here. Don't get too fake. close. But, but he doesn't also... smell. He's fake. He's not here. But I also have better critical thinking skills than some. I feel offended. Did you say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't be. It wasn't a jab at you. It was a oh. jab at my sister. And who is your sister? Oh, I believe you've met. She's currently oh, inside that necklace of yours. So, does that make you another lich? And I raised my sword. Well, lichdom is not exactly an inherited trait. No, but, but like mine's... Is he in like my that. lich book? <laughs> um, I will let you make an investigation <laughs> check, flipping through the book, to see if you can find a lich that looks like this one. I got a Your 23. Name? Your name, sir? <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Uh, earlier in the book, in the G section, there is a <laughs> lich named Glomulero. I'm going to randomly say that out loud and stare at him. I'm impressed. <laughs> you hear that, Dad? They're impressed. But also they're a lich. There is well, that. <laughs> but I'm willing to not engage in... More militaristic choices, if you're willing to bargain. Which one of us has your phylactery? I... I'm going to reveal that information. <laughs> I, that would be I won't even Go confirm off. that you have my phylactery. I will, however, acknowledge that you have my sister's phylactery. Well, and we already a few need others to boot. <laughs> Well, I'm all for dropping this into the next volcano I come across. However, it, we do not have a convenient one. I'll admit the thought has occurred to me as well. And in somewhere in the distance, somewhere, Eric shudders. Well, so he just <laughs> <Paige> screams. <laughs> oh, yeah. Paige is infuriated because Paige has never gotten to visit a volcano. One time I tried, I got attacked by fish people. Literally the only time Paige tried. <laughs> like, well, did it once. That means it's never going to happen. <clears throat> you know what? I, I want there to be a canonical moment where Paige goes, you know what? I'm taking a few vacation days. Gets a volcano. And immediately gets <laughs> attacked by fish people again. <laughs> Not again! No! <laughs> I mean, they get the short end of it. I try to visit the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Paige's biggest nightmare is like no you fish people do I need to pull out the, the octopus kraken again 
<laughs> It'd be different fish people. It'd be Sahuigan or something, but it would be fish yeah. people. Sahuigan and Sahuigan. Sahuigan. So here's uh. the deal: someone of my advanced years He's acquires, old. yes, very old, <laughs> acquires a significant number of items. I'd be willing to make a trade. The more you're willing to offer the more I'd be willing to give in compensation. You could have money, powerful items from ages long forgotten, or just simply power. Name a country. I, I have can no probably interest. get you on their ruling council. I have no interest in said France? offers. Are you interested huh? in getting rid of the phylacteries you carry that are currently making you targets for a significant number of my brethren? Oh, I am indeed interested in getting rid of it, but I am not interested in making any kind of trade in which it may survive. I didn't necessarily say they would survive. What purpose does it suit you to destroy it, other than perhaps eliminating the competition? Asked and answered. Aha. Uh -huh. I realize that as a sibling, you may have a beef against, against your sister for a number of imagined reasons, but I cannot fathom... Why I should hand this over to you when I could destroy it or have it destroyed through other means? It's your call either way. Where are you? Oh, at home. Where's your home? Where I hang my hat. You have a hat? Cool. I want a hat, but it's really hard to find a good one with my ears. The trick is to find an haberdasher that's willing to cut the right shape hole at the top. Ooh. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid, sir, that you cannot bargain with this. With me, with this, I that will have it destroyed. On Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> I will see it destroyed myself, or perhaps through other means. But I will not bargain it with you. Good day, sir. Should you ever decide to change your mind, if you visit Nailith Academy, dun, dun, dun. I will know you are there. I no, not myself. Do not visit. <laughs> But Very well. I would be the first lich to be on the council. Wait, no, back up. I am the first one. I have not been, <laughs> I have not been the only one. He, he told us where he is. No, I he told gave you us where a name. I would find you. Dang yes. it. No, I, I, I thought not so thank you very much. You Do not am. take that from me. An important distinction. <laughs> How can I take something from you that you never had? Um, it's the power of dibs. I do not recognize such power. Well, that's because you're not a tabaxi. Fair point. <laughs> I am, however, not going to engage directly. My sister attempted that. Look where it got her. Certainly. At this point, Xanthus is going to try to leave this area, returning, retracing steps, if need be. I am done talking with this person. Fine by me. I wish you well on your journey ahead. There are many pitfalls. I'm an expert at finding them. Ooh, me too! I'm also not an expert at avoiding them. <laughs> me too. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> Yeah. Cut to Xanthus falling through a, a pitfall that was built in <laughs> to this lair. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. It's, it's the, the sideshow Bob rake scene, yeah. but yes. with pits. <laughs> with pits. <laughs> that was us, that entire first dungeon crawl. Yeah, it, make pretty a much check. Three. it pretty much was. Make a perception check. Six. <laughs> and well, I the, found all the pits. Or I found yeah, most of the pits. <laughs> No, you we didn't find all of them. You did not well, find all of them. I found a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of them. them. Not all of them. <laughs> right. So we're done here. Oh, I, I am. guess so. Bye. So you're, you're going to fade away now? I was planning to do so in a dramatic fashion. Yes. I think you've lost the moment. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to tell you about the Charlie Brown Christmas? Oh, look at the time. I need to get going. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
I think I left Do something I? in the cauldron. It's <laughs> yes, it's double bubbling now. That's not so good. I need it's, to go. The toil Seriously. and troubling is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> and the image um, fades away. Does Hero <laughs> recognize the power that they have now? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's the power of voodoo. Um, it's the power so, of being obnoxious. <laughs> I mean, I was going point, for a bit, but never mind. Yeah. That voodoo? At, at this point, uh, Xanthus would definitely approach Jaren and be like, um, I hate to say this, but your armor is probably a, a phylactery. And no, same for... I, I've already... This is something that's more than likely plausible that I figured this out a little while ago. It's, it kind of uh, was was um, uh, put on there right away once we once we fought this lich. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, well, uh, I'm 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 not going to wear this. I'm going to uh, I'm not sure how you unattune an item, but Xanthus is definitely going to unattune. <laughs> <his necklace. laughs> you just decide you're going to unattune it and take a short rest. Yeah. Uh, and then he wants to. He would. Where did we find those priests? Were they on? Were they, here they were in were they... Clear Spring, huh? and they were attacked by a significant number of spectral undead. Okay. I think. So we I think. We're, I, yeah, I think before we do anything, we need to get to a place, rest up, and think about what we're going to do next. Because if 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 these things that we have on, or these things that we're using, is going to bring in these liches out, and that's the only way to get rid of them, then we need to come up with some sort of strategy or some sort of. One. I agree. Okay, yeah. and we we've already made some... it clear. Okay, but that... what if? What if we sew the lich's new clothes? I mean, I know you want to give them stitches, but that's not going to help. <laughs> also, <laughs> that last one looked very well dressed. Puppy! I would like to remove the stitches with a sword. <laughs> well, we've already established you're not spending the night in the Goblin War. Not Goblin Warrens. That's where we are now. You can spend the night yeah. here if you want. It's got a rather homey feel, I think. I mean, goblins <laughs> do keep moving in here. It's why I don't collapse the place because I always know where to find them the next time they invade. But you're not going to spend another night in the kobold warrens. No. However, we do have access to a teleportation circle. Oh, good. We need to get uh, back to the priests. We need we to get to somewhere where we can drop this. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, we need to get someplace where we can drop this, drop our phylacteries where they'll can be destroyed. Mordor? <laughs> oh, I do know of a town that's fairly close to a volcano. <laughs> Define fairly close. About a day's travel. Most towns don't enough. build up right well, I, next I, to a volcano no, or that, on that makes it. Sense. Usually, but, the ones that do don't stick around very long. No, I, I agree. That That's wise. Um, but a day's a day's journey is sufficient, I believe. Okay. Um, I, I'm I'm inclined to go there uh, as fast as we can travel. Um, uh, Jaron, would you would you agree that it might be might behoove us to travel swiftly to said place where we can destroy phylacteries? I have no problem, but uh, I, I might I might have an issue because my phylactery specifically uh, is part of my armor. And uh, I'm going to want to see if I can go ahead and replace it with some sort, uh, just to kind of give you a heads up. I'm sure that a city will have a shop. Oh, this city <clears throat> does. They have uh, a significant amount of trade, I'm told. All of it 100% legitimate. Every now and then you'll find an item that fell off a boat somewhere. <laughs> while the boat might have been sinking. For unknown have... reasons. Like it was on fire. But I don't know anything about that. Agreed. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Uh, okay. Who else had Who else had a phylactery besides Hero, me, and Jaren? Did Did Arepa have a phylactery? Everyone has a blue magical item that has been identified as a, having a phylactery in it. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't remember what the other. I don't remember what Nick's and Arepa's items were. So. I have bracers. Bracers of defense. Uh, I have a ring of protection. Okay. And apparently a chemical factory. <laughs> yes that so hero will to... not be given <laughs> yes oh right <laughs> which is a shame right. because i am so looking forward to rolling on the random table to see what random and i'm using air quotes here for this next word beneficial 
chemical <laughs> that Hero will then begin to sweat out. Understanding that cats don't technically sweat, so this would be a new experience for Hero in every sense of the words. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I suggested yeah. that it was a banana boat because I suspect we're going to plantain. <laughs> it's it's a strong likelihood yeah. that you'll be going to plantain. I am all for it. If it gets us yeah. quicker to some place where we can drop these phylacteries into the volcano, Xanthus is all for it. I wonder if Eric's dad is still mad at me for wiping blood on his face. I mean, that's a different character. It is, in both but cases. it's still just something I think about. <laughs> <laughs> what a great first day inside of D&D. <laughs> I mean, when I introduced your character, I think you were elbow deep in fish person the guts. fish man, yeah. yes. And then I took out my wings to say hi and flicked the blood onto the face of the leader of the city, yes. Not the leader of the city. The acting one, because who the, knows the, where the other one The leader was. of the city defenses. Right, the captain of the guard. Pretty much, yeah. That was good. Well, he was a paladin. Anyway. Anyway, you head back to the goblin... Not, I said give me goblin, no. The kobold warrens. Um... Monty goes at a slower pace. There's slightly less a sense of urgency at this point. You're not chasing after a banshee, um, right. but still keeps up a good pace. Uh, you get back there without any additional snafus occurring. And um, as you get to one of the many entrances, um, a kobold runs up and says, We caught one! We caught one! We caught one! What did you catch? Now? A prisoner! Ew. Okay, so that doesn't give us any information whatsoever. You realize that, right? Um, we caught an evil prisoner? You know, most <laughs> people refer to kobolds as evil, right? Oh. Um. Where did you catch this whatever they are? Well, you said there was an attack on Clear Spring. So we went to Clear Spring, and we saw a lot of dead bodies, but there was one that was not dead. So we brought them here, and we're keeping them under guard. So you went to Clear Spring, found a survivor, and imprisoned them. Well, when you say it that way, it sounds horrible. <laughs> Monty face palms. suit. <laughs> Hero is on the edge of their feet. I don't know. I kind of like their style. They do have a lot of enthusiasm, yes. There it's is something true. to be said for that enthusiasm. Anyway, you were just in Clear Spring. Let's take a look and see if this is someone we should be letting go or someone we should be putting to the sword. Let us follow. Okay. Uh, you are taken to a jail cell. Jail cell. Yeah, yeah, I can speak. Me talk pretty one day. I met him once. Uh, anyway. So you are taken to a jail cell, which is a stereotypical jail cell, in that it looks like it's carved out of rock, where they haven't taken a lot of effort to make all the walls smooth. Uh, the floor is covered in hay that has a slight odor to it. You're not sure the hay has been changed recently. It might be a little mildewy. Um, there's a couple bowls that look like they're more designed for like feeding dogs instead of people. And there is a battered and bloody, darker-skinned woman sitting, or laying down, rather, in the middle of the cell. Is this someone we recognize at all? Oh, yes. Excella. Hi! Oh. Hi, Angel Mom! Xanthus That's will. an angel? Yeah. It's a long story. Yes. Hi, Angel Mom! I still have your testy two, part two. Is she conscious? Um... She, if she's conscious, she's very dazed. She's not responding to Hero, which is not proof one way or the other. True. <laughs> Can we open this? Can we open this door? Can we open this door? Ah, uh, let me rephrase. Open the door, or I will open the door. Okay. And they open the door. Xanthus will rush in. Hold on a second. I'm disappointed. I didn't get to use Acid Arrow on the lock. One turn and it would have been dead. <laughs> I love that running gags. 
so darn much. <laughs> Jaren, Jaren pat you on the back. It, we, it, we'll get to it one day. Okay, so Xanthus, give me a medicine check. Wow. Sorry, my daughter had a minor emergency. Understood. This is this is the one of my recent characters who has no ranks in medicine. Okay, Xanthus but... would one 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 two go in and perform lay on hands. Okay. Go ahead um, and do that. Well, I'm not sure what her situation is. Uh but I will one. at least deal five hit points upon her. Okay. The five hit uh, points are very much needed. I rolled a thirteen on my medicine check. Just she's beat up. I would hopefully bring her around. Um, I cannot do a medicine check. <laughs> I could try, but I'm not going to be much better than Hero. Okay. Uh, well, Hero... I have, sorry. I have another possibility. I don't know whether or not she's under any particular condition, uh, but Xanthus would use a spell uh, for lesser restoration to try to cure her of whatever might be impairing. Can I cast Cure Wounds? You most certainly can. I was going to say, I can go ahead. I, I'm actually pretty good. I think I'm pretty good in medicine. Let me see. I have plus seven in medicine. I'm proficient in it. You know, I, I can I'm, see if I can try using it. Okay. And if that's not so good, then we also have um, a Reaper rolled a 19. Okay. Okay. Well, I rolled horribly, so let's not, get, let's not go there. Okay. I, I... So so the cleric <laughs> goes up to try to use medicine, and a is like, no, no, that will kill her. <laughs> Allow me. Um, so he, he, here's here's the dealio. So yeah. Estella has taken a heck of a beating. They were broken bones, but you, you know you you're casting spells to assist with that. Uh, there were a lot of scratches and cuts. Some of them quite deep. I would um, want to. I would want to use my lay on hands to cure a disease just in case she may have contracted something from those cuts. It's quite possible. Not all the blood that's on her is hers. So, yes, definitely worthwhile to do so, I believe. Yes. Um, also, her wings appear to have been torn off. Ooh, that's bad. Ouch. I don't have enough paper mache to make her a new one. No, nor do I. And I've just, I've just remembered what... Uh, what school of magic Aripa is, and uh, the way the way Crash phrased it probably is what a necromancer who wanted to actually help would say. Well, you know what they say about necromancers? They're just healers that aren't willing to give up. Right. I need to avenge my brother. You have my sword and my axe. And your and brother. Your brother. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, but horrifying at the same time. Whereas the paladin looks at them and goes, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Boundaries. And here you know what they are. <laughs> They're the things I punch through on a regular basis. Friends every for longer. Day. Yep. You said to raise a party. I raised a party. <laughs> ah, no one's ever thankful for the services no I provide. No one appreciates me. I know, right? Okay, well, Axella also I, appears to be I, in a good deal of shock, which is not too surprising considering she's apparently had her wings ripped off. Also considering that Hero just healed. <laughs> so good. Healed before, mostly to Hero, but still. I always forget I have cure wounds. <laughs> okay, and what you hear out of Axella after everyone barges in and does a significant amount of healing and also, multiple medicine checks is... I apologize for the inconvenience. Hi, Mom! Child, I am not your mother. Yeah, you are. So anyway, the next play we wanted to do was going to be... Um, 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 what was it? I'm all right. What movie is that from again? Caddyshack. Yeah, we're going to do Caddyshack 2 on the moon with bombs. You know the moon is covered in cobalt right now, right? Uh, even better! <laughs> I apologize for making the situation worse. So I'm glad that you're all good from the banshee and the screaming and the, the ghosts. I am not all better. Well, you're not dead. This is true. Many are. Also true. Were there any other survivors? Um, 
do undead count as survivors? No. 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 Nope. No other survivors. I guess, but no. That's bad. By my reckoning, that's the second time in a couple decades that Clear Spring's been wiped out by undead. Oh, oh, mom, 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 mom. Yeah, no. Um, we, we we defeated a lich, and I got a book full of a bunch of other ones. Which one? Which one? That's what I I'm opened to the you. page under L or P. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and G. Palela void bonded, and we encountered after defeating Palea, Palea, Yeah, I remember uh, the Palelia part. Her brother Glomularo performed some sort. Some sort of illusion, telepathic, I don't know, communication. But I just Wait, thought well, you'd like to know that we killed the Popolo Balabolo. What were the names? Palalia and Globulero. Bless you. Oh, Palalia and Globulero. Glomulero. I'll, I'll copy-paste the spellings for you. Yeah. I might, be, I might be pronouncing them wrong. In fact, I probably am. <laughs> like I'm going to read them. Glomulero, I know I'm pronouncing it correctly. Palelia, I frequently mispronounce it, but Glomulero, I'm getting right. Have you destroyed her phylactery yet? We're on our way to a volcano and to throw it in. I will hold up my necklace. This is it. Well, let's get going. And she starts to try to get up. I don't believe you're fit to travel. I don't believe I'm fit to stay here. There is that. I was on this task before you were. Maybe then you think it was you. Child, if you insist on calling me your mother, you will show some respect. Is that what you're supposed to do to mothers? I didn't know that. I think I owe someone an apology. <laughs> anyway, well. I've started this mission. I intend to see it through. Where is the volcano you intend to use? Well, we spoke to... Monty, and... Hello, I don't believe we met. <laughs> and here's Monty. He's my grandpa. He's your... <laughs> it's he a gave me a piggyback ride. <laughs> no, no, I've... I've seen your productions. <laughs> I was just unaware that the family tree had grown in such a direction. Well, he gave me a piggyback ride. How many times did she meet you before he meet you before you were part of the family? One near death attempt in my sleep. I was adopted shortly afterwards. <laughs> yeah, when you started coming to the place. <laughs> yeah. So And you give volcano, me the testy too too. I was thinking maybe you'd like to recuperate someplace <laughs> tropical. Wonderful scenery, lots of palm trees, <laughs> drinks with little umbrellas in them. Plantain. Yes. It's lovely this time of year. It's not the hurricane season. <laughs> John goes, what is that? His name sounds so familiar. <laughs> Jaron, what a wonderful accent you've picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? It, it's like well, if Eric and and a dwarf merged. <laughs> <laughs> Character Eric, not player Eric. Gosh, why did you make your name your name? <laughs> because the entire thing w was Eric being Eric. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> player valid. Eric in this case. It's like my cat. <laughs> yeah, you are one to talk. So, um... <laughs> Pot, this kettle, way. hello. Hello. Yep. <laughs> so this way to the teleportation circle. <laughs> oh, and uh, don't... <laughs> what? Oh, and uh, don't mind the kobolds. They've, um... Remember the goggles earlier? Yes. It, it was a fad brought down from the moon. Long story. They like to jump on the latest cool thing. Yeah. Um... Cool teleportation circle. Let's go to the teleportation circle. <laughs> right this way. Done already? I was gonna ask for a pair. Um, 
Well, you can probably buy them at a discount because no one's wearing them anywhere. Well, most of them aren't. Some of them are still wearing them, but uh, teleportation circle right this way. Fastest distance between two places is, you know, this straight line right here. And <laughs> oh, dear. And apparently there's a shift change taking place as Monty tries to lead you to the teleportation circle as quickly as possible. You see a significant number of kobolds going to and from. Every single one of them is wearing some facsimile of cat ears. Yes! Oh, wow. Yes! What I, have I you I knew it was coming, done? and I was still surprised. Oh! A few, a few so of them busy. have painted their tails red. Yes! Because couples already have tails, so... Look, the sooner so you get out of here, the better. Powerful. I need to get back to the moon anyway. My daughter is probably having way too much fun. Probably. Sometimes you can hear the maniacal laughter from here. I mean, not literally. That that would be a little weird. <laughs> okay, so you are taken to a teleportation circle. Um, and there is a kobold wizard on duty to send you on your way. Um, a particular kobold that... Uh, let's, let's give this kobold a name. What, what if we call him Snacks? <laughs> He is, he was a con, he is a conjurer, and not of cheap tricks. No. <laughs> I feel so strong. Okay, well, I apologize for any inconvenience you may have had while staying at the Cobalt Warrens. Please don't hold that against them. They're doing what they believe is the best choice, but uh, um, yeah, Cobalts, you you know how it is. I'm afraid I don't, but we'll take your word for it. Well, your son here. Uh, multiply I, that I by 250. <laughs> now I understand. <laughs> 257! <laughs> oh, they hatch. Yep. Fantastic. Xanthus will lay his, hand, lay his hand on his shoulder and go, you have my pity. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> anyway, off you go. Have fun storming the volcano. Watch out for fire elementals. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, wait now? Poof, you're in plantain. Yeah, poof. <laughs> and we've been playing for about an hour. What do you say we take a short break? I'm, I'm good with that. I can use okay. one. So, um, do they want to play some D&D? Can we play some D&D? We can play some D&D. 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 Let's get ready to commence preparations for occasionally having a scuffle. Hey, look, Hero helped push plot along. Hero's done for the day. (laughs) Their job is done. (laughs) Hero has accomplished productivity. They climb to the top of a palm tree and just fall asleep. (laughs) Good night. How does a tabaxi actually... There's not enough surface area on top of the palm tree for them to be sleeping up there. Don't question. And you can just see Hero is folded in half. (laughs) Draped over the palm tree. (laughs) Okay, but you have taken a teleportation circle to Plantain. It is a wonderful tropical... Not island, but peninsular resort, one could argue also a haven for scum and villainy, which, you know, are very dignified pirates. Very dignified. <laughs> and no one seems to mind the 150% humidity. Ugh, I'm covered in fur. Who said to come here? <laughs> I'm covered in fur. <laughs> and you all of the we are. are. You know what? It's it's fine. It's fine. You barely notice that it's love bug season. Uh, mm. <laughs> Plantain um, is essentially is Florida. <laughs> it's the two weeks of love bug season. You are right in the middle of it, yes. That's the worst. 
Oh, my windshield, I just cleaned them. Just our luck. Have we gone to the Nine Hells? <laughs> Bought a t is, no. is this the this Nine is much Hells? Too, this is much too happy a place. And probably more human than hell. As someone who created this place, I would say no. <laughs> you're not you're not covered in fur, although as a dwarf you do have a lot of hair. I'm panting still. As a forge cleric, <laughs> I don't ready think <laughs> that Jaren uh cares about the heat or humidity. Wait, what what race is Xanthus? Uh he looks like Nightcrawler, he's a tiefling. Oh. Okay. I had you and Jaren backwards. Yeah, Xanthus is blue fur, pointed ears, devil's tail. He basically is, yeah, he's Kurt Wagner, except he's a tiefling. Jaren is a he doesn't dark, have the accent. Jaren is a dark-skinned dwarf who loves to blow things up. Well, you should have been here a couple of years ago. Yeah. We would have accommodated you. <laughs> okay, well, you are able to find a place to stay without much difficulty um, and get your long rest. I guess we don't uh, bring up the whole evil demonic weapons in our inventory thing. That would probably be bad. <clears throat> um, um, we would just... Well, um, you know what, Our, Crash, I would argue that if this place, if 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 Plantain kind of has kept its ways, I'm sure somebody in this particular area might have some knowledge. Or, I don't know. Just, just Yes, but would the party of- know that? Well, we well, wouldn't know who to weird, ask her. This lady who screams betra- betrayal in Paige's mind, is it her? Uh, no, she's dead. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> she was, she I was know dead that. before she started messing with Paige's mind. That's the one warlock I knew. <laughs> and, and Eric, you're absolutely right. There's several people who would be able to give very important, valuable information. And this party doesn't know any of them. <laughs> but you are absolutely right. They are they are probably here. Aronde is still a playa de platano. Obviously any corner you could find that. Okay. Um Kiro is also definitely going to be the type of person to be like Une w- one tortilla poor favor. And everybody but, looks rather funny. But the real question is, which of you be going around saying, does anyone here speak ancient Greek? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Ellie's character. I was going to say that's Paige. Paige. Yeah. Well, Paige would too be, be too busy screaming in, uh, in, I don't know, Infernal or something. Right. I think at this point, if Paige was here, Paige would only be screaming about the volcano. And get wow. out of her I way. Get a volcano. She won't. Due to the trail in this particular area, common is the common tongue, if you will. Everybody speaks it. They just have really awesome accents. Yes, very and much. And by so. awesome, I mean I'm not going to tell the Puerto Rican in the group <laughs> what accents he uses for the locals in the community he created. I, as a mayonnaise white person, am not going to try any of these accents. Donde esta la biblioteca? Me llamo Aripa, la araña discoteca. Do I need to remind you guys of the fact last time I went out for Mexican food with one of my cousins, he asked if he could have some fajitas and asked it with no, no Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> and he was what? asking for no pico de gallo. <laughs> so I'm not condoning this, <laughs> but I see how someone might, when asked this, find reason, and I'm not condoning this, find reason to spit in the food. Before serving it, I interrupted and I apologized because these are my cousins who are legitimately adopted. But I was like, "I'm sorry, he's adopted." <laughs> it's a joke I pull out often after I had a long conversation with them about how I appreciate them as family members and honestly like them more than most. <laughs> Look, Jan is just happy he gets to reset his spells, so now he has spells left. Let's get this party started. See, <laughs> okay. So you head out the following morning and you um, wade through the love bugs. Ugh. 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 Yuck. 
This yeah, oh, by, by this time, Xanthus will have unattuned the necklace of prayer beads. Oh my gosh! Also, oh yeah, you could have done it with a short rest. Yeah, oh I, my gosh. I figured. If we're yeah, if we're unattuning, then I'll unattune the ring of protection. <sighs> Sorry, I just recognized yeah. the fact that, like, these love bugs, they're, first of all, they're attracted to heat, so they're going to be swarming around me, who has a higher body temperature than everyone else. But also, they're going to get stuck in my fur. Yep. And aren't they slightly acidic? Yes. They're related to stink bugs. Ugh. Somewhere <laughs> along the way, Axilla managed to acquire a large fan, not... A metal fan. Um, it actually prefers classical music. But... It, was, it was a fan club. <laughs> well, it's large enough that when folded up, it might be used as an ineffective club. But mm. she waves it in front of her to knock the love bugs out of the way, and you hear them hitting the fan. <laughs> there are audible <laughs> sounds think, think, of think, multiples. Think, think. Imagine popcorn, the worst popcorn. <laughs> Are you sure we're not in the Nine Hells? Or the Abyss? Possibly the Abyss. Um, I don't see what everyone's complaining about. This seems lovely. Yeah, Jern is pretty pretty okay with the heat. <laughs> I, I'm assuming that as a necromancer, Arepa just sort of... The, the bugs just sort of instinctively avoid her. <laughs> Well, it's not that they instinctively avoid her, but there's a bunch of them that when they fly close, suddenly just drop dead. The blood is poisoned. <laughs> okay, so, so you head out. Aripa has a bad idea field around her. Uh, Aripa is that part of town that you just don't go. But that part of town is a moving target at this point. Yep. Meanwhile, um... You're pretty sure you knew what color Hero's fur was, but Hero just appears to be a black mass. Uh, and now I'm imagining just a trail behind Aripa. <laughs> of dead bugs. Buzz. 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 Little undead bugs <laughs> staggering around. <laughs> no, you have an undead army of bugs. This is the worst. Don't make me pull up the swarm stats. Uh, anyway anyway you head out of town and it's probably for the best uh the love bugs do not become a better situation as you get out of town if anything it gets slightly worse but it's hard to tell it's hard to tell it's probably slightly worse yick i hate this honestly if it wasn't for the love bugs you'd enjoy the scenery <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it's beautiful yeah. out Spoken like a true Floridian. There's, <laughs> there's there's a few clouds in the sky, but it's probably not going to. Oh wait, no, no, it's raining. It is. It rained that's stuff. a. That's a. Yep, yep. It, it's over. It's it's ended. Uh, you are you are now soaked, and you would think that cools you off, but no, it's a hundred and fifty percent humidity. The air is super yeah. saturated, so you're just wet and too warm. It feels like August. It did wash the love bug acid off of you, though. Great, but now Pev is a sopping wet mess. I love that oh. all of us, well, not all of us, but Millie and I specifically keep calling Hero Pev. Did I just <laughs> yes. call Pev? You just called yeah, Hero you Pev. Did. You did. And I did that him. earlier, so. Oh, crap. Uh, I mean, well, that's here... who you base the character off of. Yeah, true, and I'm staring at my cat, so. But anyways, uh, Hero... Hero's fur is now just a matted, wet, sopping mess. Aripa is seriously thinking about changing into a bathing suit. <laughs> okay, and oddly enough, there is a trail that appears to be leading directly towards the volcano. So you're not even like worried about navigation or anything. It's just there's a sign that says volcano this way. That's the thing. Like this, tra- this word has been traveled before. I wonder how. <laughs> Every now and then, well, there's, like, park signs that talk about how best to dispose of magical items. <laughs> Don't feed the Goliaths. Yeah. <laughs> this is a wonderful gif you found, Cindy. That That is a cat that it looks like it's smiling, but that is not a happy cat. That is a cat who is surviving. Yes. That That is a cat who is contemplating Plotting. where it will pee tonight. 
Yeah. Spoiler, it's not in the designated location. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I have spent a lot of time describing how uncomfortable you all are, and I'm glad I've done so. Um, but who here has a perception that's higher than 15? Uh, let me look. No. Nope. Negative. You mean, did you mean passive perception? No. Passive perception. Yeah, it is no. 15. Oh, wonderful. Hero, usually when you are out in the wilderness, you enjoy it because there's plenty of trees and birds and stuff to to play with and or capture and eat. But while there's plenty of trees, they don't look like they're the best for climbing, and you don't hear anything that's other than weird. love bugs. Ugh. And we all know those are demon spawns, so that's that's not helpful. Buzz. And a few Buzz. zombie love bugs. Um... <laughs> Um, it's even funnier if they're actually saying buzz. I hope they are. Um, like zombies say brains. These ones say buzz. One of my one of the characters I enjoyed the most from the Discworld series was there was a dog that was actually like intelligent enough to talk, mm-hmm. but they'd forgotten how to bark. So they would actually look at you and say bark. <laughs> I do love that dog. There's but anyways, a- I turn to my to the to my friends, um, and I'm like, um, I don't know. Who, I don't think any of you have an answer, but it's really quiet. The bad quiet. I I, I don't think I heard a question. Um, no. It was a I, statement of concern. <laughs> the, the it, it was the quiet. kind of question my kindergarten students have for me. Where I ask who has a question, they raise their hand, and I call on them, and they say, "I have a cat too." Um, it's like the bad <laughs> quiet, like like um, you know, like when you're out and about and you're hunting, or maybe you don't, uh, but I do. Um, when you're hunting and like you're looking at things, you hear everything. Like you hear birds in the distance, and you hear bugs in the distance that aren't zombies, and you hear. <laughs> You hear, like, you know, like, critters in the distance, and you hear the leaves rustling because things are running around, and th- there's nothing. Well, There's no living animals. Let's all <laughs> stop. Yes. I will use my divine sense to detect any bad things within 60 feet. Specifically, what kinds of bad things? Well, there's also good things. Uh, celestial, fiends, and undead. Nope. Oh, or no. something is affected... Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Or if anything is is currently under the effects of a hallow spell. I don't expect we'll find any of those either. Oh, yeah. Nope, also, not that also, either. Also, I have a favorite enemy. And well, what is hopefully it? they're not around. Are there any plants around? <laughs> I mean, there's lots of trees and scrub brush and stuff. I'm just saying, if any of them are dangerous, I have... Oh, cool. It shows me your rolls. Yeah, just yeah roll. that's new. That is new. Oh. Anyway, um, but anyways, That's new as um, last week. Um, I have advantage on survival checks to track my favorite enemies, as well as intelligence checks to recall information about them. I also have favored terrain type of forest, which means that I am more aware of crap in woods. Also, as an action, I can hero. extend one ranger spell sh- slot to sense whether, yeah, I have the primeval awareness with the aberration celestials, dragons, entimentals, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead within a mile of me. Or six miles because favor terrain. Okay, read that laundry list of things you can detect off again. <laughs> um, aberrations. No. Nope. Celestials, dragons, well, elementals. Celestial, there's a dra- There's a celestial right there. Okay, yeah. yeah. Next to you. Dragons, yeah. elementals. Not here. Say fiends. Yeah, there's un- an elemental. Uh-oh. Oh, there's an elemental. What's your range of your know. spell? Uh, a six mile. miles. Six, are we in jungle? Six what? Uh, are we in forest? We're in woods, right? <laughs> you're, you're you're in wilderness that could be considered to be woods. Okay, so six miles. We are? Six miles. Okay, yes. Now, does this ability give you direction? No, it just lets me know if they're there. Does it let you know how close they are? Nope. There is, there is at least one elemental within six miles of you. Um, There's... There's something around here. Congratulations, Millie. You've discovered the most useful ability of the ranger. <laughs> also, um, oh, I didn't mean to roll survival. I meant to do uh, 
either perception or investigation to see if I could figure out where. Maybe I did want there, survival. There were a lot of people rolling perception. You most definitely may roll perception. I think the highest perception roll I saw was a 15. There was there were multiple 15s. Okay. Uh, well, I got a 19. Ooh, that's almost high enough. Gosh! <laughs> because I rolled a stealth check and it was a nat 20. Uh. But that's a one to attack. <laughs> so the, that's a failed sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, your, first, your your first notice that something's <laughs> up is there is a shadow that gets larger very quickly, and then this large stone being Sorry. with four what? arms drops out of the sky and tries to do this powerful slam attack, but misses I, I, horribly. I apologize. I There was some giggling in the way. Did you say stone or bone? Stone. One more time, please. S-T-O-N-E. S-T-O-N-E. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's ready to rock. Describing this, all I saw was everyone rolling initiative. <laughs> Valid. We heard the word attack, and that was just it. It was yeah. everyone just. <laughs> okay, so I see Nick's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, like, that's why I couldn't stop giggling. I was like, nothing was said. Everyone agreed. <laughs> Jaren got a six. I would say, yay, the healer's going last, but we all know Jaren only heals when charmed. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Charming! Hero got a 21. I don't think this enemy is going to try charming anyone. I tried charming the Kraken and you said no. Yes, the, I, I think there was also a request to seduce the Kraken, which is also a no. <laughs> yeah, that Only was my, more that emphatic. Was charm. That was my charm. Aripa got a 16. I, I will not condone anyone seducing the Kraken. <laughs> this will not take place. Fine. <sighs> But Hero, this four-armed, large stone creature with wings has just Mm -hmm. dropped out of the air and squished all of the zombie love bugs. The ones that weren't causing problems are now the only ones that have died. Okay, that's a problem. (laughs) What would you like to do? Well, there's your problem. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so I would like to look at them, and they're made of stone. They appear to be made of stone. It might be paper mache painted to look like stone. You have your doubts. Does a perception check count as a action? In this case, probably. Oh, dang because it. I'm looking at the time. We've been playing for an hour and a half already. Okay. I would encourage you to kill the thing. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I am going to cast ensnaring snipe. Ensnaring <laughs> snipe. Yes, ensnaring snipe. Um. There's a grassy knoll over there. Hero is on top of it. <laughs> um, also, um, does this thing... Did this thing hurt itself when it fell? No, it hurt all Dang. of the undead love bugs. Dang it. I was trying to see if I could use my other abilities to do more damage. Nope. Okay, so we have that. Plus... You didn't roll a hit yet. Oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Um, I see you rolling damage, but... <laughs> <laughs> just really, just really go for it. <laughs> okay, it has to roll a 13 strength save. You have to hit it first. God damn it. I'm trying to cast a spell. I'm doing so bad. I haven't yes, done... but that spell requires you to hit. I know. <laughs> no, I'm agreeing. <laughs> this is exasperation to me. <laughs> Does an 18 hit? At 18 does hit. Now you can roll all the damage and make me roll a save. Okay. What's the save? Um, 13. Strength. Oh, strength save. Yeah. I shouldn't have gone Would first. you accept a natural 20? I will not. Well, too I bad. I have choice. Okay, so That's with my that, second nat 20 for this character. I'm done with you. Yeah. Um. Not when it counted for them hitting things, but never mind about that. So it's still hit with the damage, it just isn't restrained. Correct. But anyway, so that's four plus 
11 is 15 plus a... Uh, nope, can't do that because it wasn't hurt yet. Um, that's all I got this time. Okay, 15 damage. It is now the four-armed being's turn. There are four of them? No, there's four actually arms. more than four beings with arms, but this one being has four arms. <laughs> it, it, is, it was it's forewarned, and it is four-armed. And it gets, wouldn't you believe it, five attacks. I'm done. <laughs> one with each arm, and it has a bite. We're going to call um, him Bitey. Uh, canonically, that is one of the kobolds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, there can be more than one. There can be more than one. Bitey can be a common name. There is not a one Steve limit in this game. <laughs> and there's no limit to how many Kevins will be. Well, by definition. Okay, yeah. so that's a 17 on the die. Looking at their plus to hit. Um, it's okay, negative. So that's a 25 to hit Xanthus. How are you feeling? Uh, well, that is a lot higher than I hoped, but uh, I will have to accept said attack. Okay, you're going to take nine points of slashing damage. If I okay. say no very vigorously, does that count? <laughs> it, it counts as a statement. Um, so that's going to be higher. That's going to be another nine points of damage to Xanthus. <laughs> okay, I think at this point we will invoke our hellish rebuke. I have to make a save for that? Yep, dexterity 15. Whee! Um, oh, give me the damage, because that's a 10. Okay. Finally. So I can find it. Oh, good, you found another way to roll. Yep. Okay, 14 fire damage. They don't like that. They've decided they're going to try to hit you some more because of that. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. That will miss. That is over 20. Okay. Seven more? No. Uh, nine. nine more. I'm and, blooded. And one last attack is a bite. This isn't fair. That is, that is again, over 20. That'll be 11 points of piercing damage from the bite. Okay. He just went all out at you. Yes, he did. He hit four out of five. Okay. Ooh. And that's its turn. Arepa, it is your turn. Um, I'm very sorry to ask this one more time. Our house rule is, when casting spells, is a bonus action and an action, or Correct. a cantrip and a normal spell. Um, well, you're allowed to include a cantrip as well, as one of those two, but it's bonus action and action. Okay. I don't actually know if that counts. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm close reading the, the wording of a spell that I have the option to use. Okay. And I'm not sure if... Any attack you make counts spell attacks. What is the spell? If you are rolling to hit, it does. Yeah. If they're rolling to save, it does not, usually. Okay. Um, all right. I am going to open with Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Uh, it's got to make a wisdom save at 15. It actually has a bonus to wisdom saving throws. No. If, it, if oh, it's intelligence not negate score... A negative one. Sorry? Uh, what about its intelligence score? If its intelligence score is less than five, then it's not affected. Oh, so close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I rolled a nat one for the save. Oh. Okay, so it's doing well. Then it is prone and laughing. You've never heard a statue <laughs> laugh before. You're not sure what you should have expected. But apparently but it's, it. a, it's a giggle. You, you weren't <laughs> expecting a giggle. Hero giggles with it. And that's what I'm going to do this round. Okay. Xanthus, how are you feeling? Uh, near death. Um, so I'm going to use my action to... I have to find it. Uh, where's the spell? I'm going to do a Cure Wounds upon myself at a second level spell slot. And that will heal myself 10 points. Yay. Good. Yep. I'm going to bonus action, if I can get back on the right tab... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to bonus action cast magic weapon on my weapon so that I can now perhaps hurt said monster when it comes around, when it comes around to be my turn again. When it comes around. Okay. And that is my turn. Cause I'm sure at this point it is on the ground at my feet, prone okay. and laughing. Well, it's very, very large. So at your feet is probably not the it's best relative. way to describe it. It's laying down still almost as tall as you. Okay. 
All right, it is Excella's turn. Excella pulls out her long sword and goes to take a swing. Uh, and I believe she gets advantage because it's prone, but it gets to make another wisdom saving throw if it takes damage. Okay. Well, it is going to take some damage because rolling an advantage, that's over 20. It's going to take three points of damage because Excella does not have a magical weapon. Oh. We've been running into those, so I've been pre- I'm trying to prepare it ahead of time. Right. How about I don't put the damage on Excella? Yeah. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> and the gargoyle is going to demonstrate its intense wisdom by making a save. Wow. What's the target number? 15. Uh, with the bonus, that'll make it. Uh, oh, shoot, and it actually has advantage. But I guess the spell ends. Yeah. Okay, well, Excella's going to go for another attack. And... Oh, wait, I rolled an advantage. Well, it's still prone. It doesn't have yeah, any yeah. movement yet. Correct. Uh, that's it, going to be another three points its, of damage. Yeah, it hasn't had its turn yet. Right, and it's got to spend half its movement to get up. Right. Um, Considering how many people are engaging in melee attacks, it's, yeah, it's not, not going to need to use far. the rest of its movement. <laughs> it's not going to need to go very far. <laughs> Hero's not nearby. No, near. No, but... Hero's at the distance going pew pew. Pew pew. Um, speaking Excella of going. And Xanthus are plenty close enough. <laughs> speaking of yelling pew pew, or maybe not yelling it, but going it, Nix, it's your turn. I'm. S- Never mind. Um, so. I'm going to move as far away from it as I can. Thus demonstrating and... you are the person in this party with the highest level of critical thinking skills. Right. Yeah, and the squishiest. Um, I'm going to hit it with some snowballs. It needs Aretha to make a deck save. Sorry, go ahead. Does it make a deck save? Yeah. Do I want to be mean and say the snowballs melt on the way down? <laughs> They're magical. They can't. You know, I'm going to say they do melt on the way down, but they just turn into Florida rain, so they're going to take the same amount of damage. <laughs> Ooh. It's a, only an aesthetic difference. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Snellox Snowball Swarm used in a game. It is the that's third not... time I've seen it. We used it last that's week. The... Really? Yep. Yeah. And, and, oh. and um, Aristobulus, been... Matt's character, used it on some kobolds. Yes, in the first did. campaign. Yep. I what apologize. Was, I must have missed it last week. It's just saying, tar- what was the sorry. target number? I'm sorry. 16. 16. Okay. For right. for what ability? Dexterity. That's a fail. All right. It's hit with 13 <laughs> coals. Wait, you're saying a stone soldier is not dexterous? Yeah, right. Weird. <laughs> it's actually... Who's prone because it was laughing until just a moment ago? <laughs> it was giggling on the floor? <laughs> it's actually got average dexterity. It's got an 11. It doesn't have any negative modifiers. Uh, now, if you uh, faced off in a battle of wits, it would be yeah. sorely prepared. Oh, man. What do you got? Rocks for brains? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, I'm th- imagining a necromancer's Tasha's hideous laughter <laughs> that's uh, undead arms reaching up from the ground and- Tickling whoever is. Oh, the that's hard. That is hard. I have I have literally kicked friends in the head because they decided to tickle me. <laughs> it is I involuntary. Have... See, so it's disabling, isn't it? Yeah, disabling to the friend. I felt so bad. <laughs> I felt horrible. Well, you save obviously. <sighs> well, Jaren. No. I'm assuming you're going to spend Jared, this entire time finally... healing people. No. Jaren is going to be like all the others and go say hello in melee range. Except for Hero. Because I want to reach out and touch someone with these hands. Uh, uh, okay. And also, Nyx and Aripa are not within melee range. Hey, I was going to say, I'm not sure I ever moved into melee range. So Jaren would like to inflict thine wounds. Make a roll to hit. An 18. 18 hit. It casts shield. No, no, it does not. That's a hit. <laughs> Whew, I Thirty-three how those... points. I keep forgetting that inflict wounds is so op. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I use it all the time as Zuda, and I still keep forgetting. Okay, you heal it for thirty-three points of damage. Uh, no, no, you. you mean... 
You, you cast healing. a healing spell. And then I would like to, uh, as a bonus action, uh, healing, healing word on Xanthus to help out with the healing. Because the cleric heals as an afterthought. And by the way, <laughs> right. I'm not sure how you did it, but you've bloodied the statue. <laughs> mm. The gravel's coming out, man. Yeah. It's a miracle. Six right. points. I'm still under my bloodied value, but we're getting there. I, I'm really liking this combat tracker. Yeah, it's cool. The only yeah. the only thing I don't like about it is there are times when I want the numbers I roll to be hidden. Like if there's some right. enemy that's trying to be stealthy, so I'm rolling against your passive perceptions. I don't want you knowing I'm rolling versus your passive perceptions. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, I like it. My turn is done. Okay, next is Sir not appearing in this film. And now we're up to Hero. Yay! Um, that thing's still, it's its gravelly, but not dead, right? Correct. It no has moving. less than half its hit points. Sorry, what? It has less than half its hit points. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to look at it. Okay, uh... that's your action. Next up is... No. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I'm going to roll... And this time I'm not going to cast a spell because it didn't help me last time. Where am I? Uh, don't attack at ranged. It's Why prone, would I not so attack you'll be... at ranged? Well, here's no, the thing. Okay, if you, it's prone. If you, a, if you make a physical ranged attack, yeah, then you have disadvantage on the roll because it's prone. But I have a laser pointer. Also, you're a ranger, so you still have a bonus to hit. Rolling a disadvantage might not be a bad thing, but if yeah. you... If you approach it and attack with a physical weapon, I don't you will have be ro- one. <laughs> well, you've got your claws. Um, yeah, but it's well, not the same damage. <laughs> well, let, let, let me let me finish this because this is talking yeah. about game mechanics. Mm-hmm. Um, I first of all I'll say I agree that it would probably be ideal for you to attack at range because one, you're using a magic weapon. Two, you're a ranger, so you have a bonus to hit that might counteract the fact you're rolling twice and picking the lower of the two numbers. Yeah. If you attack with a, a melee attack, you'll be close enough and they're prone, so you'd be rolling at advantage, which is great. But with a non-magical weapon, which means it'll take half damage because it's made of rock. Yeah, I am going to uh, hit with my uh, laser pointer of doom because I have a plus 10 to hit. Now... To be fair, and yeah. go ahead and put that gif in chat because I've invoked it, and it is your right to do so. To be fair, this specific situation, well, that's a different gif, but I'm okay with that one too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking of Laser Pointer of Doom. <laughs> that, no, that's the magic missile gif. Yeah. <laughs> Literal missiles. Um, in another situation, it would be the opposite of this where you would want to be engaging in a melee attack because you'd be doing a lot more damage, but you don't have a magical weapon and you're a ranger, so range attacks are your thing. So, so it's I'm situational. just going to do what I said I was going to do. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. So that's a 12, and for your other attack, because a 24, yeah. so we're going to take the 12. Do I hit? A 12 misses. I am oh. tragically hero with the free action... Does a shout to the sky about why the gods have failed him? Um, the gods shout down from on high. Also, because you uh, turned us all into family members. Um, I thought you liked that. Um, I didn't want to be a second cousin twice removed. Uh, so I don't get invited to any of the family reunions. I don't. And when I do. Guess. And when I do, they make me sit at the kids' table. Sit at the kids' table. You see my problem. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's 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 my turn. Okay, I thought you got more than one attack. I get more than one. Oh, yeah, I do get more than one attack. Yeah, so we get to go through this whole thing again. Okay, so a 15 and what's... Well, uh, so taking those two rolls, the lower numbers of 15, it's another miss. Yeah, I'm I'm still screaming at the sky. This is young cat screams at clouds. <laughs> um, dang it. Okay, now it's the forearmed statue's turn. Uh, it uses half its movement to get up. Forearmed per people people leader. And it is going to now an intelligent being would probably continue to attack Xanthus 
because Xanthus is already bloodied, so it has a chance of finishing it off. However, I've already established, they're not that bright, so they're going to go after the thing that hurt them the most. <laughs> Which was not Xanthus. <laughs> Which was not Xanthus. Jaren, what's your AC? No. AC is 19. Okay. Uh, that's a hit. You take nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, your that is not a hit. That is not a hit. That's a hit. Take another nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And the last attack is a bite. And that is a... Actually, no. That is 18. So that is a miss because you said your AC was 19. Correct. So we're basically okay. describing a Chumba Wamba album. <laughs> I get knocked down. Yes, but I think you're going to keep this thing down. Um, Arepa. Um, I have a choice, and I'm sorry, guys. I know it's going to prolong the combat, but I'm casting a second level chromatic orb. Uh, Will a 14 hit? Nope. No. I'm using my inspiration. (laughs) It's going to hit. (laughs) How about a 19? A 19 will hit. All right. And what that's do you pick? 18 acid damage. Acid damage? And it's a shame you didn't cast acid arrow. It'd be dead before the end of the turn. Well, that was the choice. I, I had 48, 48 from the chromatic orb or 44 from Melf's acid arrow. To be fair, Melf's acid arrow doesn't actually do the killing blow. It's just that yeah. seems to be... No, there's one time. There is one time what? where we got to yep. do the residual right. damage. Well, that's why I was saying I hate to prolong the combat. And I get the joke, and I truly appreciate it. By the way, Xanthus, what would you like to do besides lick your wounds? Uh, Well, uh, I think I'm going to attack, because I now have a magical weapon in my hand. He's got a sword! I got a sword! They all have swords! Oh my goodness! I've already 21 to hit. A glancing blow. A glancing blow. Uh, I intend to do some damage with my magical sword, and that is nine points of damage. I intend to also invoke a Divine Smite when I hit said creature. I'm going to burn a first-level spell slot, and I'm assuming... Well, I don't want to assume, actually. Uh, is it an undead or a fiend in any way? Nope, it is an elemental. I thought so, but I figured I'd ask. Uh, so let's see, can I... In my head, Ken, Hero now has a very smug expression on his face because he knew it was an elemental. <laughs> I'm going to go to my features and see if it lets me find a way to roll this. It is not a button. Okay, so we'll roll over here. We'll add 13 points of radiant damage to said 9 slashing damage. It's not a fan. It is, in fact, a large statue. It has large wings, though. It could be used as a fan. Ooh. Perhaps we'll take those from it. Yeah, I, I would like we'll be able to carry them. <laughs> okay. It is Excel's uh, turn. Or are you going to use a bonus action? I may oh, wait, use a no, bonus action. It. I'm checking to use see it. if, it's, if it's useful at all. And I think it will well, be. Well, you, you and... Don't you use a bonus action to invoke a smite? No, that's free. Oh. A divine smite. It's uh, okay, all I'm, I'm, th- hit. I'm thinking of the, the spells that are also called smite that do extra fancy things. Yeah, no. Thunderous, uh, raffle, branding, those do take bonus action. A divine smite is simply a free action I may invoke whenever I hit the target. Yeah, it, it's um, 1130 at night. I, I'm allowed to yeah. occasionally confuse a spell. Yep. Uh, I am going to use a bonus action. Uh to use my Inspiring Smite as a part of my Channel Divinity. Since I used a Divine Smite, we're going to roll, and... Then this is like, you die on my turn. Yes. Well, what it will do is give my allies temporary hit points. I add six to this. Good. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> uh, I will give... Just make sure, can I do these to myself? Creatures of your choice within 30 feet of you, which can include you. Okay. Uh, I will give five to Jaren and six to myself. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say myself, myself, and myself. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm going to probably need them if it survives another round. <laughs> I am going to make sure it does not. Okay. Well, it's Good. Excel's turn. I've already rolled the first strike. It was a hit. That's three points of damage. The second strike is not. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. Now it's Nix's turn. Um, I'm going to do Scorching Ray at level 3. Get him, Ray. So that's four of those guys. Um, 14. Miss. I think we've established that does not hit the creature. 26 26. Does. Oh, wait, it does? Well, 26 hits. Yeah. 
Oh, you're saying it does. We have established that it does not hit. <laughs> well, it's, I, I'm saying the 26 hits. I'm responding yeah. to the second roll. Uh, the 14 13 misses. does not. 13. So. Uh, 13 does not. So you've got one hit. Roll your damage for one hit. Six. Fire. Right. So I can't remember if I've said this, but every time I hear someone use uh, a ray spell, I think of my astronomy teacher in college who was... Uh, Cosmic Ray Hively. <laughs> that is a great pun of a name. It really is. Okay. Well, remember when I said it was bloodied? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is less than one-fourth of that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We're getting there. Yeah, I think Jaren's going to get his Jaren way. Will... Yeah. If Jaren does the same amount of damage this time, it, it'll be double the hit points. So, Jaren, <laughs> this, is, this is the part where you give it a chance to surrender and then just heal your party members, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, we're going to inflict wounds again. The wounds, they can't be inflicted no more, Captain. Oh, that's a 12 nice. misses. And okay. you don't get two attacks. Uh, as a bonus action, let's go ahead and use spiritual weapon. Well, unless they cast spiritual weapon. That would be the exception to the rule. And 18 hits. Uh, they'll take 11, I think that's force damage. It's not a fan, but it's still moving. That's my turn. Sorry, guys. It's a false Luke. Hero, I would better than have inspiration. <laughs> it is Hero's turn. Okay, I am going... By the way, it's also I'm standing, going... so you're no longer rolling at disadvantage. It's still down? No, it's standing. No, it's up. So it's now up? you no longer roll at disadvantage. You just roll normal. Oh, thank right. goodness. I am, I'm going to. I do 25. Well, you attack well, for 25. <laughs> uh, that was a roll to hit, or that was your damage? That was a that roll was to roll hit. To... <laughs> um... I'll give it to you this time. But next Thank time I'm going to expect a higher number. Okay. So I do nine plus... Eight. If I'm remembering correctly, nine is enough. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Let them have this. Nine plus seven, 16. Okay, 16 damage for my first hit. Stop hitting it. It's already dead. <laughs> How do Good. you want to do this? You are laser pointering the statue to death. I would like to use my laser to to make each of the arms fall off. You know, like the... Okay. You, you surgically remove all four of the arms. And, and I laugh at the gods. 17. And, and now that you have disarmed it... <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, Cindy, the perfect gif. The absolute perfect gif. That is chef's kiss perfect. Uh, now that you have disarmed the statue, it just starts to crumble where you cut the arms off, and the whole thing collapses into a pile of rubble. I'm laughing maniacally the whole time. Oh, that's a little disappointing. That's what you get from Cindy. I was hoping for a gargoyle. Oh, well. You cut out. You were hoping for a gargoyle what? Gargoyle minion. Oh, well. That gnome has high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's uh, where we're... Go Sorry. I was just going to say Animate Dead doesn't say it has to be a humanoid corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Fair, well, but this is an elemental. Human. Yeah. <laughs> it's its remains are technically not a corpse. Fine. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, we're going to end it for the evening. Thank you everyone for listening. Thank you everyone for playing. Is there anything that anyone wants to plug? I play video games on Twitch at Magical Millie. Anyone else? Uh, I do not play games uh, on Magical Millie. I am incredibly boring right now. That's the, okay. The, the only things that I'm doing are things I can't talk about yet. <laughs> Secret projects. I would say you probably have to be really small to play games on Magical Melee. It's my cat. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure they would punch me. Um, with that said, yes. <laughs> we, we also, and wonder how I got to their home because I don't know their address. Um, we also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash cogwheelgaming. You can help us keep the lights on along with other illustrious patrons, including Chris, Ellie, Eric, Janadalock, Mickey, Shanshan, and Walter. And until next time, this is Crash saying, hmm, the gargoyle didn't work. I'll have See, to try that's plan C.
That that reminds me of what Mike Merle said. Who are you? How did you get into my bedroom? I'm. I have questions. I will not ask them. Good night, everybody. The answers. <laughs> <laughs>